Sziasztok! Hello everyone, this is Anna May. I'd like to talk to you about the meditation exercise. For some of you, even the word meditation might already be discouraging or scary, supposing that it's about having to empty your mind and be still for an hour or so. And because it turns out to be quite impossible, Intrusive thoughts keep coming and the whole experience ends up to be discouraging indeed. And that's why I have a better idea. I'd like to show you a flow today. But first, let me start with the posture. For us Europeans, it's a lot easier to sit on a chair than on the ground. I actually try to compose each exercise in a way that they are easy to do under any circumstances. If you can sit on the ground with your legs folded and your spine straight, that's great. That's how I practice too, sitting on a block or blanket to support the lower back. But if you practice sitting on a chair, that will also be perfect. Besides the posture, there is something else that's important here for us, the energy field. Whenever you practice this exercise, you're immersed in this energy. And if you have ever practiced with us, you know what this means. As your intention for your growth is pure, the way you perform the exercise will be perfect, even if it's hard to keep your focus on the instructions. So, getting back to the posture, keep your spine as straight as you can and pay attention to your breathing. Starting below the tailbone, raise your attention above the head on the exhale. Here is the end of your exhale, above your crown. This is where the inhale begins. It's coming back down, behind your body, shaping half a circle. This is one cycle. On the exhale, your attention rises through the body and above the head. And on the inhale, it comes back behind your body, shaping half a circle. There is no breath suspension anywhere, just a continuous flow of the breath. Your exhale has a power of lifting something up in your body. You may call it an obstacle or blockage. This is why you want to put some effort in your exhale, which you can control with your abdominal muscles. The exhale should be powerful, moving upward in the body and over the crown. When we talk about the movement of the breath in the body, it's more about your attention than your lungs, the actual place of respiration. So the exhale moves up together with your attention. From below the tailbone, it reaches above the head. And with the end of your exhale, the next part of the cycle, the inhale begins. The inhale feels like sliding down a slide in half a circle. Starting above the head, it comes down below the tailbone. And then the next exhale begins, which has an ascending power, as if you took a lift up. You may want to close your eyes to help you focus. Exhale, through the body, bring the attention above the crown. Inhale, bring it back down below the tailbone in half a circle behind your back, as if sliding down a slide. Exhale, through your body, bring the attention above the crown, and then inhale, Bring it back down below the tailbone, in half a circle, behind your back. There is no breath suspension, the breathing flows continuously. This cycle requires time and focus to get going, but each time you practice, it gets more and more inscribed and helps you start a flow deep in your system that's continuously uplifting you. So, it may be hard in the beginning, but with practice, each breath adds something to the next one. 
It gets easier with time, giving you a feeling that it just goes on and on. It initiates a circle that elevates your whole being. And there is something more to this exercise. In our everyday life, the front of our body is more conscious than the back. This is where our attention rests mostly. The front of the body represents what we show to the world and how we are present in it. Whereas the back of the body holds an enormous potential. It's the opposite of everything the front stands for. If we take that the front of the body represents our conscious mind, then the back stands for everything that surpasses it. It stands for something much, much bigger, something inconceivably big. There's this idea that we in fact use only a very small percentage of the actual capacity of our brains. But this is actually true for our whole being. Everything that truly matters and can be reached as a human being is behind our back. When you exhale, when your exhale ascends, it helps you clean all the blockages. And when your inhale descends, it activates something that goes beyond the limits of what you are normally used to in your everyday life. Our everyday lives are about how the hardness of our ego grinds to move forward in the world. And that makes all of us tired. Here, at the back of the body, you can feel how this hardness starts falling apart. This hard shell starts to melt away. It doesn't mean, though, that you become vulnerable. Quite the contrary. You may begin to feel the force, the love and beauty in you that has never, ever been vulnerable. So there is no need to maintain this toughness or hardness. And as it melts away and you are stripped from it, your true self can unfold and your wonderful highest nature manifests. This is how the meditation exercise works and supports you. So I suggest you start practicing it today. It can be a part of the 21 day challenge, but it's perfect even if you do it for 10 minutes only every day. There is something else I truly love about this exercise and that's exactly how it was created too is that there's no need to take time away from yourself or your family. You can do it whenever you have a couple of minutes while riding a bus or queuing. No one will notice, it doesn't look weird. But this flow, this wonderful force accompanies you all the time. This exercise also has a mantra. It's your own mantra, which is a positive statement that refers only to you. It's great if your mantra for this exercise starts with I am and after that you can add whatever you would like to achieve. Now as an example, I will use I am happy, which will probably be useful for many of you. The mantra can become part of the flow, as if the frequency and the meaning of the words were engraved into the cells of the body. So if you start doing the exercise and you feel the flow get going, start using the mantra. While your exhale travels up the body, from below the tailbone and over the head, say the words, I am. And while you inhale and let your attention return to the starting point in half a circle, say happy or whatever you have chosen for yourself. I am moves up, happy flows back. As you combine your breathing with your mantra and keep practicing, you will find that it results in a meditative state. You may feel your respiration slowing down and the words you have chosen for your mantra feel to bear a special impact, as if you uttered them in a holy space. Here I want to add something to the posture. It's important to draw your chin back a bit, to lengthen your neck 
and to decompress the vertebrae. I hope you will enjoy the exercise and start practicing today. Make it a part of your 21-day challenge. And remember that I am with you whenever you practice. God bless you all. I love you with all my heart and see you. Thank you.